Welcome to Module 7, From BPA to Treat and Transport Facilitation Monitoring Mechanism, or TTFMM in short. The specific topics I will cover in this module are as follows. I will first discuss why it is important for a country to establish a sustainable TTFMM. I will then provide an overview of TTFMM, including its core functions, outputs, and the methodology for data collection and analysis. I will also review the key factors for maintaining sustainability of TTFMM, including institutional arrangement, national human resources, and capacity building. Let's look at a fundamental question. Why is it important for a country to establish a national TTFMM? There are mainly three reasons. First, while some international cross-country trade and transport indicators are available and useful, they are not always detailed or reliable. Second, although many trade facility monitoring exercises have been carried out in developing countries, such efforts are often ad hoc in nature, with little effective follow-ups and limited buy-in by the governmental agencies concerned. Third, a country needs adequate data and information to support evidence-based policy-making on trade and transport facilitation. However, such data are not always available for many countries in Asia-Pacific region. For these reasons, there's a pricing need for a country to regularly and systematically monitor trade and transport facilitation. To address this need, a concept note on TTFMM has been jointly developed by UNSCAP and the Asian Development Bank. Now, let's look at the key functions of TTFMM. TTFMM has two interrelated functions. First, to formulate, update, and prioritize recommendations for trade and transport facilitation. Second, to measure and assess progress in trade and transport facilitation. The key outputs of TTFMM include performance indicators, process and procedure descriptions, and recommendations for improvement. Relevant data and information are saved in two formats, namely national database and analytical report published regularly. The methodology for data collection and analysis and the framework TTFMM is called Business Process Analysis Plus, which is based on the UNEXT Business Process Analysis, supplemented by Time Release Study, or TRS, and the Time Cost Distance, or TCD method. So this graph show the difference among BPA, TRS, and the TCD method. BPA can cover whole trade process before and after the physical moment of goods. TRS mainly cover the key nodes of the supply chain, such as port, airport, and the land border, while TCD cover physical moment of goods from origin to destination. Another difference. While TRS and TCD mainly provide indicators, BPA provides not only indicators, but also a standard method for analyzing trade and transport procedures. Therefore, BPA Plus draws the strength of these three methods. Depending on each country's specific needs, other trade facility monitoring methods may also be integrated into BPA+. Sustainability of TTFMM is at the core of its design. Institutional arrangement is essential to ensuring sustainability. In principle, the executive body should compromise representatives of all stakeholders related to trade and transport facilitation. As such, 
TTFMM should be ideally anchored with National Trade Facilitation Committee, NTFC, or similar institution. If such national committee or institution is not in place, an uh, interagency committee could be initiated by or under the lead agency for trade facilitation. To be cost-effective and build national capacity, national experts rather than international experts should be used to conduct assessment and performance studies in the long term. In this respect, a training of trainer mechanism may be established to create a pool of proficient local experts or institutions to conduct all the essential studies. Although TTFMM is designed to be applicable to all countries, some countries, especially the least developed countries, may need technical and financial assistance especially in the first few years' establishment and operation. Well, this takes us to the end of this module. I hope I have guided you through key features of TTFMM. For further information, please find the relevant guides at your next website. Thank you for your attention.